everybody, I'm Allie. It's Sunday, October 25th, and this is my YNR vlog. It's gonna be a short one today. I'm running a little bit short on time, but there's only one topic that I really want to discuss today, and it's not even about a storyline. Um, I'm sure you can feel it coming, those of you who watch the YNR news, but um, for the last two, probably three weeks, maybe more, there have been all kinds of rumors. All I've been hearing about is Eric Braden leaving the show. Now, you saw my reaction <laughs> to thinking that Melody Thomas Scott was leaving the show. And my reaction to Eric Braden leaving the show would be like World War III. It would be nuclear. <laughs> um, so I went online after kind of realizing that the deal was done like Eric Braden is like he had been written off the show his last uh, dates to air were uh, at I think mid-November so I went online to just to confirm it for myself like before I freaked out I was like I need to know if this is happening and I have hot off of the presses an article dated October 23rd that's just two days ago and I'll post the link in the description of this video so you can read it yourself so this is brand new news. I mean, you may not even know about it yet. So I'm going to break it here and read you this article. Um, Sony has confirmed that it has signed a new deal with Eric Braden to keep the soap opera veteran as Victor Newman on The Young and the Restless. <sighs> Huge sigh of freaking relief. Braden, 68. He's 68 years old. He's 68 years old. Dude looks good real good. Um, he was preparing to say goodbye to the show that he had called home since 1980, the year I was born, um, after the production company demanded that he take what was described as a substantial pay cut to his seven-figure salary. So he's making over a million dollars a year at least. Um, terms of the New Deal were not released, but a source familiar with the negotiation said the actor ended up accepting a pay decrease in exchange for a new three-year pack. So we've got three years before we have to deal with this again. Um, speaking exclusively to EW.com, Braden said that he and Sony returned to the negotiation table on October 23rd, two days ago, and settled the deal amicably. He declined to comment on the specifics, but he did say, all is well that ends well. Both sides were reasonable. We were both satisfied with the outcome. This business is tough. Brayden is not sure when he'll return to the set because the writers have to figure out how to write him back into the show. They already wrote him out. Um, asked to explain how his character was going to leave in the first place, Brayden said that executive producer slash head writer uh, Maria Arena Bell had Victor going off to rehabilitation. Um, this notion makes him laugh now. It was rehabilitation from the negotiations, Brayden said, chuckling. He has been cured miraculously. Miracles do happen. A week ago, I didn't think they would. So we were really, really close to this. Uh, close to losing him. Uh, CBS released the following statement. We're very happy that Eric will be remaining with the young and the restless. Victor Newman has been an important part of the Genoa City canvas for nearly 30 years, and we know our audience will be tuning in to see what his plans are next. That was really close. And I'll tell you what, you know, Eric Braden is the young and the restless. In the same way that Melody Thomas Scott is the young and the restless. Jan Cooper is the young and the restless. Peter Bregman is the young and the restless. And I can tell you right now that if Eric Braden would have left the show, I would have been pissed. And I can tell you too, I really think I would have started cutting ties with the show. I wouldn't have wanted to watch anymore. I mean, you know, I'm not always happy with what uh, with what decisions Victor makes, but Eric Braden brings so much to the show. He is the father uh, of, of in the in the Young and the Restless community, and I tell you, I would have been really, really upset um, if he would have left. So, <sighs> crisis averted. I didn't want to get upset about it, because it seems like every couple of years we get all of these rumors, a, a star's contract comes up, and everybody gets all up in arms about them leaving the show, and I think, you know what, I don't believe it till I see it, um, and this time we were very, very lucky, or I think so anyway. So let me know what your thoughts about this are. Are you happy that he's staying? Were you happy that it was going? Um, let me know your thoughts and um, I will look forward to reading them. 
So that's it for me for today. Just a quickie. Um, and I'm also not going to be here next weekend either because I'm going to, it's going to be a, a whole week long of Halloween extravaganza for me. So um, I won't be back next Sunday, but I'll be back the, the Sunday following that. So um, I will look forward to chatting with you guys then. I hope you guys um, are enjoying the show and you have a wonderful two weeks and I'll see you next time. Bye.